Hey, what's shaking, homie? So today we're gonna do a little versus video. So I got the $25 Toro Flux Kinetic Spring toy, and I got the $5 generic 3D Kinetic Spring from Walmart. So I'm gonna do a little $5 Kinetic Spring versus a $25 one. Uh, is it worth buying the more expensive one, or should you just buy the $5 generic? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Okay, guys. So let's start off the Toro Flux. Now this is like the original kinetic spring and lately there's been a lot of generic ones you can get them as cheap as like three four dollars this one was about five dollars i got at walmart and the toro flux is nice because it comes it comes with this little bag first off the bag you know talks about how you use it and everything um, but also it's just a nice thing to put it in uh, you don't really have anything to put this in and you'll see why that is kind of a pain in uh in the next moment so say i take this out and i open it up um, that's pretty big. Even if I close it, you know, it's hard to find somewhere you can put that where it's not going to, like, spring back open. Um, I can even, maybe I could just put around your beer. It's pretty cool. You can you know, keep your beer safe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it, if you do, do anything, you know, usually it'll pop back open. So you want to be able to store it somewhere where you can store it like this. So I think it's nice. First off, that the Toroflux comes with a little bag. Um, this one just comes in this plastic sheath. I cut the bottom so that way I could just put it back in there. But um, very basic, made in China, you know, and all that. This one actually opens easier. Like this one, I can have it sit out more without it popping open. This one pops open like way quicker. Um, it's really hard to like get it to like you gotta be real gentle and <laughs> make sure you don't move it much. Otherwise, it'll pop open real easy. Which that's why I wish this one came with some type of bag to put it in. But then again, you're paying, you know, less than a quarter of the price. Um, one thing I've noticed right away is the authentic Toro Flux is actually slightly smaller in diameter. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because it kind of just looks like a bunch together. But um, yeah, it's definitely slightly, slightly smaller in diameter. Um, they both feel like they're made about with the same type of steel. The yeah, the, they're both like feel just as strong. I don't feel like this one I'm going to accidentally bend it as well as that one as long as, you know, I'm not doing anything stupid with them. But, uh, yeah, so just as far as like, you know, how well they pop up and how well they look, um, the fake ones definitely got like a shinier gloss to it. But other than that, they look very similar. There's not really a big difference. The main difference is when you're actually playing with it, like when you're letting it flow up and down your arm. Um, so I'll adjust the camera and I'll show you that. Um, but yeah, just from like first impressions, if you were just looking at them, they look very similar. Okay guys, so here are the two kinetic springs. So the main way you play with these is you put it on your arm and you can let it flow up. You can let it flow down. You can uh, like pass it to your other hand. And you'll notice this is the authentic Toroflux. It looks actually like beautiful. It's very 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 satisfying visually as well as how it feels it doesn't really skip a beat it's real easy what we're gonna start my elbow it's real easy to pass it you know from one arm to the other but it uh i don't know it just it just has a nice flow to it it's really really fun now the main difference i noticed then when i try the other one so this is the generic one here is this one feels feels almost like it's lagging, like it, it gets stuck, like you see that, it gets stuck all the time. Like once it starts moving, it kind of does, but it's really choppy and it's just not as satisfying visually, like, or like, it doesn't, just doesn't feel as nice either, you know, it's just like very unsatisfying. So I think, you know, if, as far as like, does it work? Yeah, it works, but it's like, you know? Yeah, it's kind of like a slinky that, like, if you had a cheap, crappy slinky you got for at the dollar store and you compared it to a real slinky, you would notice which one's different. Very similar with these Toro Fluxes. They both pop open the same. They both look very similar. But this one, I could throw it in the pool because it's just not as good. This one, definitely, definitely much, much better. So I say if you're buying one of these, just like as an impulse buy and you just want to see what it's all about. Yeah, but you can buy the $5 one or whatever. 
But if you're really interested in this and you think it's really cool, then I would get the real one. I wouldn't waste money on the other one. Plus, you have the nice bag to put it in. So I'll put a link in the description where you can get the authentic original Toro Flux. But then I'll also put some links to some cheap generic ones. Maybe, maybe you're a little kid or something you can't afford it. But yeah, the real authentic Toro Flux is definitely way nicer. Um, it just feels nicer. Everything about it. I, I wouldn't throw it in the pool. I'll put it that way. So. Hope this video helped uh, somebody if you're trying to get one of these. I think they're really cool. I've already made a full review on the cheap one, full review on this one. So I probably won't be doing very many more videos on these. But if there is anything you want me to do with them or any questions, hit me up in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out.